Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double X. What's going on, Dr. Kelly? What's going on, sir? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Everything is going well tonight out here in the beautiful city of Augusta. Amen. How is it in Charm City? Charm City. Charm City is beautiful today. High temperatures, no clouds in the sky. God is good. Amen. Dr. Jerry Royce, do you mind lifting this up in prayer? Amen. We have a powerful subject matter on tonight. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, dear Father God, we ask you, dear Lord, to put your covenant, put your hands on this podcast, dear Lord. We ask you, dear Father God, to bless the listeners, the audience, and people who are looking for encouragement in the word from God through the voice of Dr. Paul Kelly. We want to thank you, Father God, for blessing us with PTI Bible College and Bible Podcast. This has been a true blessing to all the listeners and, and the family of Positive Power. We want to thank you for the commentary and the topic that has been blessed in the hands of Brandon. We want to thank you, God, for all the podcasters and, and all the listeners in the listening ear of this podcast right now. Continue, Father, to give us the, the anointing that we need to make a difference in this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you for a beautiful prayer. Thank Amen. You, Ladies and gentlemen, you've just heard from our CEO of this powerful award winning platform, Mr. Jerry Royce, live. Amen. What kind of updates we got tonight, sir? Before we get into this powerful topic, I'm excited. Our listeners are excited. What do we have, sir? Any new updates? Yeah, we got uh, this. Is what we're going to do, we're going to run a quick song break. I got to bring. Facebook Live back up. It, it crashed on us for a second. So let's tell you okay. what. We're going to go to yes, song sir. break. We're going to listen to this beautiful selection by Summer, uh, Alanshi, and Tanya Lewis Dallas. And this one's called Old Amen. Holy Night. And I think I got another Old Christmas song too by um, uh, Talia. 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 I hope Hallelujah. I'm saying that right. We got you got two back yeah. to backs coming up. Yeah, producer. I'm going to pull that, and then and, and I should have Facebook Live up by then. All right, amen. All right, sir. All right, Let's amen. rock it. Amen, amen sir. Go. Oh, holy night from the DMV. Yes, sir.
Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power A double XI. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. All right, Doc. Let me bring you back when I wasn't able to bring up download the other song right this minute. All right. Hey. All right. You got us, Doc? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, working on that song now. All right. So you need some updates, Doc. Oh, I'm sorry, Doc. Since Facebook Facebook missed our prayer and everything because we it crashed on me for a second there, but it's all good. <laughs> you go to Spotify, iTunes, and iHeartRadio <laughs> and Spreaker Radio if you want to catch all us. Good. Right? Amen. Yes, sir. Amen, Dr. Jerry Royce. We thank you anyway for a powerful prayer, sir. Amen. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think our listeners are uh, in due. They're due for a powerful update. Some great things are going on on Positive Power, sir. What do we got? What do we have? All right. Well, I got this beautiful song I want I want to share with everybody in place of the prayer that, that they didn't get. So I'll tell you what. Let's play this beautiful prayer. I mean, this beautiful song. It's called Silent Night. It's by Taylene. Taylene, she, she, she used to be a former singer of Atlantic Star. Oh. Okay. Yes. And she's going to be uh, she's going to be on Pastors Time next week, and she's going to talk about her journey, you know, in the in the record industry. Um, I guess her, her journey with Atlantic Star, and talk about her um, you know, her her ministry with her husband, and you know, her transition to gospel music. So that's going to be simply awesome. All right. So you ready? Man, we're looking forward to that. Yeah. yeah yes, sir. Yeah, man. So here we go. This one's called hey. Silent Night by Talene. Hallelujah.
All right. I hope everybody enjoyed that one. Again, that one's by Taylene Harris. She's out there in Atlanta from the DMV, y'all. That's right. DMV doing this thing. Did you like that one, Dr. Kelly? I love it, man. That's that's beautiful. Yes, sir, Jerry. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Sorry Listeners about that. seem like they love it, too. They're enjoying it on tonight, sir. Oh, yeah. We got another one. We get a chance. We got another one by Michael Lee. All this released by Colton McConnell out of Round the Clock Management. We want to thank him so very much for uh, blessing us with this beautiful Christmas music. Early, you guys heard Holy, Oh, Holy Night by Summer, Summer, Alanshi, and uh, Tanya Lewis Dallas out of the DMV. Again, DMV showing up. Man. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Shout out to Carlton Pearson. Shout out to Mrs. Summer Pearson. Amen. And we're looking forward to, amen, to interviewing Taylene, sir. Looking forward yeah. to that, sir. Yeah, it's going to be hot. A lot, a lot of um, good yeah. music came out of Atlantic Star. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Back in the day, Dr. Jerry put a message in the bottle. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah, man, I was jamming it up. Look, I was talking to her and listening to the music at the same time. I was I was pulling it all up. Hey, man. <laughs> she probably like, is hey, you listening to me? <laughs> I was listening to the music too. Yeah. Hallelujah. Man. It was it was, hey, it was man, so wonderful it's good, talking to it's her. Good to reflect on those days, sir. Yeah. Hey man, you have some powerful lineups. Hey man, coming on positive power. And we're honored, sir, to be here, hey amen, at this present time to share, to share this these powerful Monumental moments with you, amen, in the Positive Power family and our listeners. Yes, sir. So, uh, so Doc, I know you got a powerful topic for tonight. When, you, when you're ready to take a drink or you need to stretch your legs, we got another one by Michael Lee. This one called This the Season. So I encourage amen. all the artists out there that got Christmas. I think Denny sent me something, too. I got to pull that out. But all you artists out there that have uh, Christmas music that's available and you want to share it on this platform, Inbox me. Let me know you emailed me so I can download it because, you know, I get a lot of emails, y'all. <laughs> I can spend hours going through emails. So let me know it's out there and I'll pull it up. So I think I know I think Denny and Mike did send me something. I'm going to go look for that. So um, when you take a break, let me know. So, uh, you know, we're looking forward to this powerful, powerful Amen. Bible study tonight. Amen. Yes, sir. Coming right up after your song break Whenever you give us the cue, Doc, we ready. Right. And also, we want to uh, let everybody know that, unfortunately, uh, uh, Bishop uh, Samuels, uh, what was the last, Brown, was it Brown? No, that's not Samuel Brown, it's my buddy, <laughs> yeah, Alabama. McGill? McGill, yeah, Bishop, McGill, yeah. Yes, sir. Bishop McGill could not join us tonight. He had an emergency, so we are rescheduling him. But we want to thank um, David Shelton for, um, you know, for scheduling him and booking him on this platform. We really appreciate that. He's promoting a new book. Um and uh, we, we're so excited to have him out here to talk about it. So that'll be happening real soon, everybody. I know you guys saw the flyers. So, uh, But we got a powerful Bible study tonight with Dr. Kelly. And y'all got to excuse me, man. I had a delicious uh, chicken cheese steak. <laughs> it's like it's giving me itis right now. Wow. <laughs> I'm getting some itis. <laughs> Need a nap. Okay. <laughs> but I'm hanging in there. <laughs> yes, sir. Praise God. Amen. Amen. All right, Doc. We ready yes, when you sir. are, sir. So you want? Did you want to take another song break? You want to? You going to? Let me know when you're ready. What you want? We're to ready, Doc. We we're, we're ready to go and uh, okay. I'll, I'll cue in robot, Amen. Because I'm loving this music and our listeners, Amen. We can go ahead and start this powerful lesson on tonight right here on Positive Power. Okay, worldwide okay. Christian media, sir. Yeah, yeah, and that's right. You did tell me to do the announcements real quick. Real quick announcements, everybody. We want to shout out to Lakeisha Mosley. Uh, man, powerful presentation yesterday. Brand new podcast with Lakeisha Mosley, and we got big, big things for her. This will be yeah. happening in 2019. So look for her. Uh, we had a great conversation. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be in the studio uh, on um, Thursday. Um, doing some things. And then on Wednesday, y'all, late night with Jervis Lab, the talk show. That's right. The TV talk show is doing this thing in, in down in Georgia. And we're going to be doing some better things with that. We actually have a co-host now. That's right, y'all. You remember the late night with David Letterman? You know, he had a sidekick. So Zeke going to be joining me. That's right. Zenobia Sampson. You guys probably have seen her on WBGL with, uh, with, with Renair. Montgomery out there in the D.C. area. So she's from the DMV also. And she's going to be joining me right here in studio on Late Night with Jervis Live, the TV show. So we're going to be having a great time. We're going to have topic. We're going to be working off of the same topic 
that you guys hear on past this time and on the Friday night lineup. That's right. The triple threat podcast with, um, Late Night with Jervis Live, Next Man Up, and the Christian Party Line. And also coming up next week, uh, I think, I think I can't, the 17th, I'm sorry. The 17th on Late Night with Jervis Live and Kimmy Kim, we're going to have Fred Hammonds and uh, the, the boys from the Bermuda. Uh, what was they called? Uh, I got to get that name. But anyway, you guys probably seen them on the red carpet at the Spin Awards. They've been touring all over the country with uh, Apostle Vero Howard. So they're going to be here along with Fred Hammer. He actually produced it, uh, one of the songs on the album. So look out for that happening real quick. That's going to be uh, happening in about two weeks. So you'll see some promos amen, coming out on that amen. real soon. Amen. All right. So we that's it, Doc. Sure. That's it. Hallelujah. Hey, man, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Y'all Y'all just heard from the greatest, greatest producer, hey, man, on this side of heaven. Robot, can y'all show him some love? Y'all send your hearts out yeah, there. Yeah, give me the big Show him some love, Ray Robot. Yeah. Robot. yeah, Robot. Give, give him some Davidson, Robot. Give him some Davidson. Hey, hey, hey. my name is Davidson. I'm from Haiti, but I live in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry Ross Live, worldwide. Yeah, and shout out to Nick Ross out there in Nigeria. He hit me up today. He wanted to know how the Batman was doing. I said, yeah, we doing good, man. So shout out to Nick Ross out there in Nigeria. Sometimes they hit me up sometime. Wanted to see what's going on. Also, Doc, uh, let's not forget about Paula G. She's, she's in the U.K. right now hanging out with, with Shaggy, with Shaggy Tosh. From UK, from Salt Great, FM Radio. Yeah, she was on the show yesterday doing her thing. And um, that was a great, great podcast. So uh, check that out on our page if you guys want to hear that complete podcast. And they looking to be booking um, Dr. Charles D. Clark from Empire on that show real soon. So um, he's doing some big things yeah. out of UK. Big award-winning program. Yes, Amen. Praise God. Shout out to Shockey and Paula G. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. W-A-T-C. Hey man, my journey with Paula G out in the UK. Praise God. That's that's power, Jerry. That's, right. that's power. She's hanging out in the UK. It's promoting. Yes, that's right. That's that's what you call international promotion, y'all. That's how you do it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Doctor, your viewers, the viewers are ready. Hey man, let's let's go ahead and open this topic up tonight, Dr. Amen. Jerry. Hey man, your oath. Is unto God. Amen. We're going to open it up in Matthew 5 and 33 for your listening audience. Amen. Matthew 5, 33 through 37. And we're going to, we're going to actually do some powerful stuff. I want my audience, I want the audience to participate tonight in this. Amen. Jesus reminds us that God is a part of every earth. Uh, he's a part of, part of every oath. Amen. In other words, let me kind of open this up for our viewers. Jesus had did a series of teaching, ladies and gentlemen, amen. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. He had did a series of teaching, amen, leading up to this point in Matthew 5, 33 and 37, amen. And we also like to thank those who are going out and checking out the Pastor's Time International Bible College, amen, at pastorstime.com. Praise God, that's pastorstime.com. Our producer put that up. Amen. These are some topics, amen, that you'll be able to critique, amen, and use for credits for a higher spiritual education at my alumni at Minnesota Graduate School of Theology. Amen. So I, I ask you to take advantage of this, amen. When you go out there, you will see it. It's a beautiful, beautiful power, affordable, amen, of affordable International Bible College worldwide, amen, online, amen, and Jerry Royce, amen, he is the chair of that website, he's the chair, not only that, he is our, one of our power, amen, I would have to say powerful, powerful, amen, board advisors for Pastors Time International Bible College, and we really thank him, amen, and a shout out to Mrs. Paula G. She's also a, a board advisor, and also Dr. Charles Clark, for the most part, amen. Let us get to this powerful lesson, as I was saying, this lesson, amen, it comes on the backdrop of Jesus teaching, amen, the Beatitudes, blessed are the poor in spirit, amen, out of Matthew 5, amen, 3, down to 11. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. 
Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. And he went on, amen, to talk to his disciples on that three-day revival, Dr. Jerry Royce. And he, he must have gotten happy, ladies and gentlemen, because it got good to him, amen, and he continued to teach on, amen, in Matthew 5 and 13, right after that, amen, when he said, blessed are ye when they revile and persecute you, amen, and say all kinds of evil against you falsely, amen. Jesus said, rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. He he wasn't talking about celebrate because somebody you know, beat on you or punch on. He wasn't talking about that. Amen. He wasn't saying in that dialect. Amen. He was basically saying that he will fight for us. So be glad. Amen. And rejoice. He will be there for us. That's really what he was saying. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But it is, amen, it is power to show an act of civil obedience, ladies and gentlemen, civil obedience peacefully. Amen. And he went on to teach, amen, that we are the salt of the earth. He said in Matthew 5 and 13, you are the salt of the earth. Those are born again believers. But if the salt loses its favor, how shall we be seasoned? How, how, how can we show that we are men and women of God if we have no flavor? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown and trampled under by men but he went on to remind them again in that 14th verse, Matthew 5 and 14, you are the light of the world. That's you. That's you, 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 all the listeners out there who are tuning in. You, me, amen, our families, those who are in the ark of the safety, those who, who have asked God to come into their life and save them. And those who are listening by airwaves, if you haven't accepted Christ, you can do that tonight. You heard those beautiful songs, Silent Night, Holy Night, Amen. You 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 have the you have an invitation to accept this powerful uh Jesus. You have the invitation to accept Christ. So as we lead into this lesson on tonight, there also comes responsibilities when you invite Christ into your life. And we're going to go over some of those responsibilities. These, these, what I was sharing with you tonight, amen, is some commentary, powerful commentary from Brandon Sampson, amen. Um, he has been so kind and generous to share these topics with us. But God has said, let's, let's teach this. Let's teach this. Let's share this with the nation, amen. What is going on in the lives of the believers, so leading up from the Beatitudes and the salt of the earth, amen, we're now to this point right here with Jesus. He's really shifting right now in tone. He's talking about your oath. So when we come, when we give our lives to God, when we accept God, we have a responsibility. We need to watch our speech, our talk, our tone, amen, as men and women of God, Amen. We need to watch how we talk, our behavior, praise God, because it is important to the members of the body of the church. Amen. Let's listen to what Jesus said, amen, in Matthew 5 and 33. Right after he was speaking about the voice, he went on to say again. Now, again, he's meaning, and I'll share that again with you. He said again, Matthew 5 and 33. Again, you have heard that it was said to those of the old, you should not swear falsely. We're going to talk about oaths. Amen. Again, you have heard, this is Jesus talking. Anytime you see red, amen, it's Jesus talking, amen. Again, you have heard that it was said to those of old, you should not swear falsely, but shall perform your oaths to the Lord. It didn't say perform your oath to, amen, to just any man or any person is said to the Lord. And then he went on to say, but I say to you, do not swear at all. And I'm going to break this down what that means. Neither by heaven, 
for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, amen. He's getting really, really strong into this because, remember, this is leading up to his crucifixion. Amen. And we're going into Christmas. Amen. And I think this is the befitting lesson on tonight. Amen. He said, for it is the city of the great king, nor shall you swear by your head because you cannot make one hair white or black. In other words, you didn't create yourself. Amen. You didn't you didn't create your body. You didn't you didn't have no part. Amen. In creating yourself. And he said in the 37th verse, Matthew 5 and 37, but let your yes be yes and your no, no. For whatever is more than these, whatever is more than these is a form of the evil. Let's, let's, let's break this apart. Let's dive into this. Let, let, let's dive into this nation. Amen. Listen, and viewers, are you ready? Thank everyone for tuning in. Amen. Let's go back to that 33rd. Again, you have heard that it was said to those that are old, you should not swear falsely. Let's look at that. Let's look at this. Listen, this is Jesus, amen, saying here, here Jesus was emphasizing, nation, get ready to just go ahead and start sending this out. Our listeners and our viewers, go ahead and push your cue. And I want y'all to focus on this. Go ahead and start sending this out because this is a powerful message. And I want y'all to get this. Students, PTI students, you'll be able to pull this up, amen, out on the website. And you'll also be able to critique this lesson to receive credits from this. Amen. Let's look at the 5 and 33, Matthew 5 and 33. We're going to look at a theological point that is relevant to this subject. Your oath is unto God. Here Jesus is saying he was emphasizing the importance of telling the truth. Somebody type that in their in they queue, truth. Just start typing it, truth, because we're going to talk around, we're going to talk about this. He, G, here Jesus was emphasizing the importance of telling the truth. Your oath, your word, your bond. Let's, 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 be, real, let's be real on tonight. Let, let's let's have some fun. People were breaking back in these days. People were breaking promises and using sacred language, sacred language, they man, casually and just carelessly. Y'all been around those type of people. You all have seen those type of people. Amen. However, what Jesus was saying, keeping oaths and promises is important. You know what that does? Y'all participate with me tonight. Somebody give me some answers out there. What does keeping your oath and promises mean? It builds trust. Amen. It makes com committed human relationships possible. It's a powerful, amen, um, behavior, a very powerful behavior in your relationships. Amen. And not only that, it shows who you really are. So what Jesus was basically saying, amen, after he was teaching a man about divorce. He went right in to vows. He said, again, you have heard that it was said of the old, you should not swear falsely. Kind of like cussing, you know, just, just any kind of words, you know, for the most part. Just going around, just swearing, amen. People were breaking promises and using sacred languages just carelessly, casually as they feel. But Jesus said keeping oath and promises is important. It builds trust. It makes committed, committed human relationships possible. And he was basically condemning those making vows or taking oaths casually. In other words, giving your word while knowing that you won't keep it. Has anyone been there before? Have you seen that? Have you placed yourself in that position? Amen. Tonight, just ask God to forgive you. And you know the beauty of this thing? God is the only one that can see you. Amen. He the only one can see you. That's what I love about this universal wall of teaching. Amen. And I can feel it in my spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Someone is bound on their knees right now just saying, forgive me, God. You can, you can do it wherever you are. You can say that out loud. Because Jesus said, if you be ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. This is powerful on tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It, this is powerful. It doesn't take a lot of screaming. It doesn't take a lot of jumping up and down. It's the pure word of God. So here Jesus was emphasizing the importance of telling the truth. 
People were breaking promises. They were using sacred language casually and carelessly, all in the name of Jesus. And you get that a lot in church. But we ain't gonna, we're not going to beat up on the church tonight. As a matter of fact, the church is in your heart. That's where the church is in. It, it is in, embedded. That's where Jesus lived once you invite him in. Amen. Many people have been church hurt. But that, that church hurt, amen, it comes sometime from us allowing that to come in. Allowing that stuff to come in. Amen. We need to be bold. Call those things out. Amen. It's okay to say, wait a minute, this is not right. It's okay to say, wait a minute, wait a minute, what did you just say? Amen. It's okay to do that, ladies and gentlemen, especially for our new believers, our new converts. Amen. So here Jesus said the Bible condemns making vows or taking the oath casually. Giving your word while knowing that you won't keep it or swearing falsely in God's name. If you want to learn a little more of that, go over to Exodus 20 and 7, also Leviticus 19 and 12, Numbers 31 through 2, Deuteronomy 19, amen, 16 to 20. I'm going to repeat those once again, amen. And we, you, can, you can do this in your spare time, Exodus 20 and 7. Leviticus 19 and 12, Numbers 31 and 2, Deuteronomy 19, 16 and 20. Amen. I'll repeat that last one, Deuteronomy 19, 16 to 20. This is important. Jesus was saying oaths are needed in certain situations only because we live in a sinful society that breeds distrust. Look around us. Nation, look around, listen to the atmosphere, listen to the heads of the states, listen what's going on. Amen. And, and these oaths, once again, these oaths are needed in certain situations only because we live in a sinful society and it breeds distrust. Amen. In this, in this powerful text, amen, ladies and gentlemen, nation, right here on Positive Power, Amen. Worldwide Christian Media, if you're just tuning in, grab your Bibles. We're in Matthew 5. Amen. We're at the 37th verse. Amen. That 37th verse. Amen. Well, let's go. Let's let's look at the 35. 35, Matthew 5 and 35. He basically, he was continuing, amen, what we shouldn't, a person should not do. Amen. He said in 34, leading in 35, but I say unto you, do not swear at all. Just don't, just don't swear. Just don't even bring it out of your heart because cursing and blessings does not come out of our temple. No, it doesn't. You come, if you're around those type of people and you know that you have been born again, you know that you, you live in a, a, a holy life, move from that environment. Remove from it all that swearing, amen, neither by heaven, amen, for God, or neither by God's throne, nor by the earth, amen. And this is the 35th verse, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for the city, amen, of the great king. What is he saying here? Oaths or vows were common. Come on, somebody. Amen. But Jesus told his followers, he's teaching this to the disciples, but he also has a message, amen, for those with the narcissism and the abusive, dysfunctional behaviors, amen, those who have the evil mindset. He was basically condemning those as well, as well amen, teaching the disciples and rebuking, amen, those who have a sinful uh, way, those who were trying to come against him for the most part. Amen. He was saying that words alone, amen, should be enough. In other words, he said oath or vows were common, but Jesus told his followers not to use them. The word alone should be enough. In other words, your your word alone should be enough. Amen. After this song break, amen, I want you all to meet me in James 5, 1 and 12. James 5, 1 and 12. Amen. You can you can also go ahead and mark down Numbers, the, the uh, Old Testament, Numbers 30. Amen. The Old Testament, number 30, and we'll begin around uh, the second verse. Amen. So that should 
that should uh, that should uh, allow us to do some empowered teaching on the second half of tonight's lesson. Amen. Your oath, your oath is unto God. Matthew five thirty three and thirty seven. Amen. When we come back on the other side of the song break, meet me in James five one and twelve. Amen. We'll be right back after Amen. A powerful song break. You're listening to Gears in Worldwide Podcast. So keep it locked. That's right. Keep it locked right here on Positive Power. Amen. We're right. Christian Media. Amen. With the greatest producer right here on this side of heaven, Mr. Jerry Royce, live. Praise the Lord Nation. And to all of our listeners out there tonight, welcome back to another powerful episode of Pastor's Time International Bible Teaching on Jerry Royce Live, Christian Media, Hallelujah, iHeart Media, and Spotify. This is home of the multi-award-winning CEO, television producer, film documentary producer, Mr. Jerry Royce. Y'all go out there and support some of his projects. Hey, man, this gentleman is doing some amazing things. All you got to do is just click in Jerry Royce. And you will see some amazing projects this gentleman has has put together. Amen. And and not only that, 
He's a family man. Amen. I talk with him. Amen. Almost on a daily basis. We pray. Amen. This gentleman pours a lot of spirit in his family. Amen. And men, men out there, amen, take a chapter out of his book. Take a chapter out of Mr. Jerry Roy's book. This gentleman, amen, when you when you just sit with him or just speak with him, you will feel the presence of the Holy Ghost, amen, that surrounds him. I just wanted to take a few minutes to share with you all. This gentleman is he's an amazing man, and I'm honored to be a partner with him, amen. He's shared and enlightened me, amen, in my ministry in many, many ways, my wife and I both, amen. So Merry Christmas to Mr. Jerry Royce, amen. Y'all give him some shout-outs out there. Robot, show him some love. Hallelujah, robot. Hallelujah. You're listening to the Worldwide Podcast. That's what I'm talking about. And y'all give yourself a hand out there, amen. Y'all, let me see those hearts go up out there, amen. All of our listeners, we thank you all. You all are what makes this happen, amen, all over the country, amen. In the U.K., Dominican Republic, amen. Shout out to, amen, to Shaggy, amen, and Paula G out there in the U.K. It's all over the map, amen. Chattanooga, Tennessee, amen, Pennsylvania, Atlanta, amen, all over. Over the country, amen, shout out to you all, and Merry Christmas, most important, amen, from Dr. Paul Kelly and Marcia Kelly, amen, on Pastor's Time, our heart to yours. We thank you all for supporting this powerful episode, amen, once again, right here on Positive Power, amen. Let's get to this power, let's get to the second half of this powerful lesson, amen. Y'all have your Bibles, amen, over in uh, James 5 and 12, this is a powerful powerful, amen, uh, theological point that is relevant to this subject, your oaths unto God. Once again, this is a powerful, powerful a theological point, meaning meaning God's word, his, pre- his precepts, amen, theological points, amen, that is relevant to this subject, your oath is unto God, amen. When you are born again, when you accept Christ, Not only do we have a right responsibility to walk right, amen, but we have a responsibility to talk right. Come on, somebody, amen, to act right, amen, to submit ourselves into God, amen. James 4 and 7 reminds us, thank you, Holy Ghost, is to submit ourselves to God, resist the devil, resist all that stuff, resist, amen, and he'll flee from you. And he went on to say, draw near to God, and he would draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, amen. He was talking to the sinners and purify your hearts. And then, you know, you've been around, you'll be around those double-minded people, amen. He, Jesus was, he, this is his brother, James, his earthly brother, amen. James had to go through a transformation to this point, amen, and at this point, Amen. He had a little resentment against his own against his own earthly brother, Jesus. He literally did, amen, until he had a change of heart. So sometimes, amen, we can put ourselves in compromising positions with our family because of whatever, amen, the word they may have said or the actions that they have mis- that they may have said towards you. But this is the time of season that we need to forgive. We need to forgive. Amen. So in your heart on tonight, this is your opportunity to forgive and forget all that that someone has done to you. There is power in forgiveness. Let's look at James 5, amen, and 12. James 5 and 12, amen. James 5 and 12, amen. I, I like to set set my these commentaries up, amen. I don't like, you know, going right into the scriptures. Sometimes, amen, we might miss something, Amen. He was teaching, amen, James was teaching, amen, from the fifth chapter. He started, amen, in that first verse, come now, you rich, weep, amen, and howl for your miseries that are coming upon you. He was basically talking about how the rich oppressors will will be judged. And then he went on to kind of teach on being patient and preserving, but I like the way, before we get to that 12th, amen, that 12th verse, 
I like the way James opened his book up. He opened his book up, amen, that the purpose, first and foremost, is to expose hypocritical practices and to teach right Christian behavior. This is the vital statistic. This is the the, uh, purpose for this book, of course. It is the Arthur James, which is Jesus' brother, amen, a leader of Jerusalem, a, a leader of the Jerusalem church. And to whom this powerful book was written, amen, before we get to that 12th verse, Amen. It was written in the first century Jewish Christians residing in the Gentile communities outside Palestine and all Christians everywhere, meaning today. And it was probably written around A.D., around 49, prior to Jerusalem's council head in, uh, held in A.D. 50. Amen. And this this setting, as I was saying, I, I get a little happy when I when I get off in the book of James, this this. Kind of, this is like a letter. So I'm setting this up for you all, the viewers, amen, the students, amen. This letter expresses James' concern for people like us, believers like us, those who've been persecuted, those who've been church hurt, as some, you know, that, that term that's going around, those who've been talked about, amen. This letter expresses James' concern for persecuted Christians, hurt Christians, who were, amen, once part of the Jerusalem church, amen. And there's a key verse, amen, uh, in James 2 and 18. But some will say, you show me your faith without works, amen, and I will show you my faith by my works. I want to say that again. But some will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. Come on, somebody. Amen. <laughs> Amen. James want believers not only to hear the truth. We talk about living faith, keeping your word. James want believers not only to hear the truth, but also do it. In other words, amen, he, he contrasts empty faith in that verse and claims without conduct, with faith that works, commitment to, amen, love, and to serve in the evidence, amen. Nation viewers, listen out there, help me out, amen. What are some of the ways that you show your faith in God? Remember, James talked about the trials, too. We're going to get to that 12th verse, amen. He talked about trials, too, amen, in our life, amen. And I ask you, and I encourage you, to go out and purchase the book, I'm going to ask my producer to post, amen, my, my latest book, amen, Turning Your Trials into Victory. Go out and get that book, Trials, amen. James, talk about trials. In the Christian life, there are trials and temptation. Somebody is going through on this season. But we want to remind you that there is joy. Successfully overcoming these adversities produces maturity and strong characters, literally. Amen. And there's an important disclaimer. I want to leave with you all. I want to leave with you all. Amen. Don't resent troubles when they come. Don't don't try to dodge it. Amen. Amen. God, 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 he, he, he trusts you for a reason when these troubles come. We're talking about those who can handle this trouble. So don't try to resent it. Don't try to dodge it. Pray for wisdom. And God will supply all that you would need to face persecution and adversity, your trials, your storms, your ups and downs, your church hurt, amen. Those who talked about you, amen. Those who called you all kind of names. We're talking about those that swearing we was talking about, amen. Those who cut you, in other words, he will give you patience and keep you strong in the ti- in the times of your trials, amen. So in this Five and uh, James five and twelve, Amen. He's really getting ready to emphasize, Amen, what we was talking about earlier, Amen, on your oath, your oath unto God, your oath unto God, your oath unto God. Jesus remind us that God is a part of every oath. He's a part. He's a part of everything that we do. Hallelujah. Let's look at five and twelve, James five and twelve. But above all, my brethren, do not swear, either by heaven or by earth or with any other or, or any other earth, 
But let your yes be yes and your no be no, lest you fall into judgment. Amen. We read that back over, remember, Matthew 5, 33 and 37. Praise God. Amen. But here, James, he wants to emphasize something very important. A person with a reputation, listen to this now. Think about what's going on out there, nation. Listen to what's going on. Listen to the Spirit of God on this on this right this this breakdown, this theological point that's relevant to the subject. Your oath is unto God. Listen to what Jesus is saying. A person with a reputation for exaggeration or lying often can't get anyone to believe him or her or his words alone. Did y'all catch that? Listen what's going on today. Keep your eyes on what's happening. A person with a reputation or exaggeration, and, I don't, and I'm just, I'm actually teaching, amen, I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just teaching you what this verse is saying, amen, above all my brethren, do not swear. Don't cuss, amen, don't don't be going around. You, you are a born-again Christian, amen. Don't swear either by heaven or earth or with any other earth, but let your yes. In other words, yes or yes or no or no. Simple as that, lest you fall into judgment. Because, see, what he was doing, James was really, he was setting this thing up, amen, to share with those out there who were hurting. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. That was in James 5 and 13. But I, I'll get to that. I, I want to break this point down, Matthew, this, this uh, James 5 and 12. But, but above all, my brethren, do not swear either by heaven or by earth or with any other oath, but let your yes be yes. Stand firm on your word. It's okay to say no. It's okay to stand up for God. Amen. And what James was saying, a person with a reputation for over-exaggerating, fabricating, lying, amen, is often can't get anyone to believe him or her or that were or their word alone. Christians should never become like that. We should church nation. We should never even be around that type of atmosphere. Always be honest so that others will believe you're simply your, your simple yes or no. It's just a simple yes or no. That's all you have to do. Yes or no. By avoiding lies and half truth and omissions of the truth, you will become known as a a man, as a let me go back and say that by avoiding the lies, if we talk about us believers, by avoiding these lies, by avoiding these half truth and omissions of the truth, you will become known as a trustworthy person. In other words, go around all that stuff. Don't don't be around it. Avoid all that stuff. Don't don't even go near it. Amen. Keep your trustworthiness. Keep keep that. That's part. That's your family name. That's who you are part of. You carry your family name. Amen. Why what James was saying? Because somebody out there, amen, is hurting. Because he went right in, amen, to meeting specific needs. You talking about keeping your own, amen. He went right into that thirteenth verse. In James 5 and 13, he said, is anyone among you suffering? Somebody out there is hurting on tonight. It is up to us to pray. Amen. Is anyone cheerful? These are questions that James is asking. Let him sing songs. Amen. Silent night. Holy night. Amen. Amen. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call on the elders of the church. Let them, in other words, let them call on the prayer warriors. Is anybody getting this tonight? Amen. Just show some sign out there. Show those hearts. Share this lesson. It's a powerful lesson. James 5 and 12, amen. It was hidden on, amen, the specific needs, amen, that sometime, amen, we need when we're going through pain, amen. Somebody cussed you or somebody swears you or somebody called you out of your name for no reason. So James, James, James wanna he wanna give somebody some happiness. He wanna give somebody some some joy. He wanna remind somebody out there, is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. 
I'm talking to someone out there tonight. The Holy Spirit is talking to somebody on tonight. Is anyone cheerful? That's a question. Let him sing songs. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that that saved a wretch like me. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call on the elders of the church, amen, and let them pray over him or her. But I like what James said here in this 13th verse. He said, anoint them with oil in the name of Jesus. Anoint them, amen. And, and then you pray for them as well, amen, that God will save the sick, and the Lord will, will, will raise him or her up, amen, amen, as if, amen, they have committed sins. In other words, you, will, you, you pray for that person, amen, that's going through, amen, and he will be forgiven. Confess, amen. Those, those who have been in those positions of doing people wrong, confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. Oh, James, James got happy. He got happy because now his heart is getting ready to be filled. His heart is feeling joy, amen, because he said in that 16th verse, confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. He was basically saying the fervent, the effective prayers of a righteous man or a woman of God availeth much. This was this was him explaining Elijah. Amen. Elijah was was a man with a with a mature with a nature like ours. We're talking about Elijah back in the Old Testament. Amen. Elijah. Amen. His nature was like ours. Amen. And he prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it didn't rain. Amen. On the land for three years. Or six months. Oh, I'm getting happy on tonight. And he prayed again, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth, amen, produced its fruits. What what is James really saying? James is really saying, amen, in this oath, amen, our oath, what we should do is depend on God. Depend on God, amen. In those 14th and James 14 and 15, all he's really saying, James is referring to someone, amen. Amen. When he was saying, is there anyone among you suffering specifically? And I enjoy teaching this passage. What James was referring to is someone who was incapacitated physically, praying for that sick person, praying for that incapacitated person. Amen. Incapacitated. Amen. In scripture. Amen. What he was saying, get that this this olive oil, this anointing oil with both of medicine. Amen. And remember, you you can find that, amen. Uh, Sister, Le- Sister Lakeisha was teaching on last night, amen, about the woman who touched the hem of Jesus' garment, amen. If you go over to Luke 10 and 37, amen, you can see more on this, on this, the all, amen, and the symbols of the Spirit of God, amen, as used in anointing kings. If you want to find even more in deeper research, Go over to 1 Samuel 16, 1 to 13. Amen. Join us in the song break. We're going to come back with our closing uh, remarks. Amen. Join us. We'll be right back. Praise God. Oh, 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, silent night, holy night. What a beautiful song, amen. Thank you and welcome back, amen, to Pastor's Time. Listeners out there, what time is it? It's Pastor's Time, amen. Somebody out there, amen, is enjoying this lesson on tonight, amen. I got another question for everybody out there on tonight, amen. Can y'all feel the power? Amen. I just need about five folks out there witness, amen, that they feel the power. Just type it in your cue or just shout it out loud or throw some hearts. I can feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Throw those thumbs up. Throw those hearts up. Amen. Those praises up. Amen. I'd like to give a shout out to all the birthdays out there as well. Praise God. Amen. Feel the power. Amen. On tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. People in the church of my closing remarks. Amen. People in the church are not alone. Members of Christ's body should be able to count on others to support, for support and prayer, especially when they are sick and suffering, especially when they're going through. Amen. Especially when they are going through their valleys. Amen. And their peaks and their downs and their ups. Amen. And their turns. Amen. From any kind of hurt. Not just church hurt, amen. Remember, the church is in our heart, amen. So people in the church are not alone. Members of Christ's body should be able to count on others for support and prayers, especially when they are sick or suffering. The elders, amen, those, amen, who are the prayer warriors, those who are in the position of prayer, those who can get a prayer through, the elders should be on call to respond to the illness of any members. And the church should start alert, amen, to pray for the needs of all of his members, not just the members, amen, but those in the families, amen. That prayer, of that, that oath, that faith, amen, simply, amen, the prayer of faith, when James was closing this out over here in his letter, the prayer of faith does not refer to the faith of a sick person. But I want to, I want to emphasize this, but to the faith of the people praying. Let me go back and say that, amen. Remember in, in James 5 and 13, he said, is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing song. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call on the elders. So 
that in that 15th verse, amen, the prayer of faith does not refer to the faith of a sick person, but to the faith of the people praying. Yes, that person is sick, believe that he's going to get healed, but this in this context is talking about the faith of those who are praying. God is calling on somebody to pray tonight, amen. God heals, amen. God heals, amen. It is your faith, amen, that believes, that touch and agree and believe that these prayers are subject to God's will. Amen. Our prayers are part of God's healing process. That is why God often waits for us or wait for our prayers, amen, of faith before intervening to the heal that person. I want to say that again. That's why sometimes God often waits for us to pray. Pray, amen, the prayer of faith before intervening to heal a person. Oh, he's going to do it anyway. But sometimes he wait on us. That sometimes, sir, he wait on us. Other times, he just go on and do what he wants. He, he has to do because he's God's omnipresent. He's God omnipotent, and he is God almighty. Amen. In that, in that 16th verse, amen, and we, we're closing out. James was talking here, amen, in the sixth. He said, confess your trespasses one to another. This is very important, one to another, amen, that ye may be healed. Ye may be, you, that's, that's you and me, amen. In other words, he was saying the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And he went on to talk about Elijah's nature, amen. Christ has made it possible. To break down that 16th verse, James 5 and 16, Christ has made it possible, listeners. I want y'all to follow this. He's made it possible for us to go directly to God for forgiveness. We don't have to go through a man or a woman or a man or anyone. Yes, we go to each other for forgiveness, but he has made it possible for us to go down on our knees, amen, and 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 cry unto God, amen, praise God, and, and, and to ask him, amen, if we have sinned against an individual, we must ask him or her to forgive us, amen. If our sin has affected the church, we must confess it publicly. I want to say that again, amen. Now, this is scripture. This is the word of God, amen. If our sin has affected, this is for those around the world, the nation, who has been church hurt, or however you want to say it. If their sins has affected the church, we must confess, confess that publicly, amen. If we need a love and support, Amen. As we struggle, if that person struggle with that sin, if they need somebody's support, amen, we should confess that sin to those who are able to provide that support. And after confessing in private or in public, amen, that sin to God, if you still don't feel that his forgiveness, we may, we may wish to confess that that sin to a fellow believer and him, him or her assure us of God's pardon. Amen. This is this is really the uh, almost a uh, I guess you can say more or less of a real person coming to God, confessing their sin. Amen. If they need a love and support, if they if they struggle, Amen, with that sin, Amen. We should confess that sin to those who are able to provide that support, and then after confessing in private or even public to God, Amen. God, amen. He will do the He will do the healing, amen. Sometimes we just get in the way. God don't need to, we He we don't need to get in the way of God. Amen. Those are my closing remarks. Amen. Join me in prayer. Amen. As the nation begin to heal. Amen. I just ask somebody right where you at, right where you are on tonight. If you're with a loved one, reach out and touch that loved one right now. If you have your grandbaby in your arms, hold your grandbaby. Amen. If you have your, if you're close to your wife, amen. If you're alone, amen, just reach to heaven, amen. And the angels actually will, they're, they're actually holding your spirit, amen, so you can reach to God. Amen. Oh, you can just hold your hand somberly and begin to pray. Pray with me on tonight. 
O holy night, the stars, O God, O God, on tonight, is shining brightly on your world. It is the night, O God, of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pending. O God, we thank you for your darling son, Jesus. Oh, God, we we thank you, oh, God, because somebody on tonight, amen, they believe in their heart and they have confessed that you are the real, you are the risen Savior. Oh, God, somebody is falling on their knees, amen, on tonight just to hear the angels' voices. Hear the angel voices say, oh, night divine, oh, night divine, when Christ was born. Oh, night divine. Oh, God, Father, not only that, oh, God, not only that on tonight, amen, we ask, God, that you give somebody tonight a silent night, oh, God, a silent, beautiful, peaceful, holy night, oh, God, a holy night. Why, God? Because that person feels calm tonight. They feel calm, oh God, because they have confessed their sin, amen, to somebody that they have done wrong. Now, oh God, they can sing, amen, silent night, oh holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round young virgin, mother and child, holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Oh, God, oh, God, silent night, holy night. Shepherds quake at the sight, the sight of your son, your only begotten son, oh, God. Glorious streams from heaven afar. Heavenly hosts sing hallelujah. That's the highest praise that we can give you, oh, God. Christ the Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. Oh, yes, oh, God, a powerful, silent night on tonight. Holy night, Son of God, love's pure light, radiant beams from the holy face, your holy face, oh, God, with the dawn of redeeming grace, that grace that you gave to us, oh, God, that grace that you gave to us sufficiently, oh, God, that grace that you gave to us unmerited, oh, God. This is our prayer on tonight. Bless Jerry Royce line. Bless positive power. Bless the Royce family. Oh God, bless his children. Oh God, let there be favor upon this man who has sacrificed his time, his health. Oh God, bless him. Oh God, Father, we ask you to bless him. Oh God, from the crown of his head to the bottom of his feet. Bless everything that he touched. Oh God, bless those who are part of positive power. Bless my family. Oh God. Bless the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh. My dear wife, the apple of my eye, oh God, bless her. Bless my children and my grandchild, my mother, my father, my pastor father, who's been standing for 33 years as a pastor. Bless him, oh God. And then, God, we ask you to bring Miss Paula G. back home safely. Bless the flight and bless those on that flight, oh God. Bless those, Father, who are starting their podcast. Bless Mrs. Lakeisha Mosley. Oh, God, bless those who are who are joining this powerful platform. Bless their ministries. Bless those who are currently on positive power. Bless their mission, God. Protect us, oh, God. Protect us. Oh, God, our hope is to love you, oh, God, and put our trust in you. This is my prayer. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart, let it be acceptable unto God. Let it be acceptable unto you. Amen. That you may remember our prayers and our oath to you, God, that we love you and we adore you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Bless all of our listeners on tonight. Happy birthday to those who are celebrating a birthday. Happy anniversary to those who are celebrating an anniversary. This is my time. God bless you and God bless this nation. Hallelujah. Christmas Eve. 
about the door, not just about the trees and lights, but it's about joy. Friends and family all gathered together, but I just want to know. All right, family, we want to thank everybody for joining us tonight on Positive Power Double XI with Pastor Time with Dr. Paul Kelly. We hope you enjoyed this powerful message. We hope you shared this file. Remember, it's on replay on Spotify, iTunes, and iHeartRadio and Spreaker Radio International Podcast. So always come back and review the files for your own personal study. Also, don't forget you can go out to PastorsTime.com and sign up for our Bible College, that's right, affordable quality education. You can work on your associate, bachelor, master's, and doctor degrees, compliments of, that's right, the Minnesota School of Theology. That's right, we're accredited. So check us out. Hit us up at pastorstime at yahoo.com for more information, or you can call us at 410-733-8438 for more information on how you can get enrolled. That's right, time to get your education, y'all. And why not study theology? Peace, y'all. Have a good night. And rest in peace, our president, I believe, number 41. Rest in peace, sir. Amen. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of double exile. Podcast. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21, Jerry Royce Live Worldwide.